Hello, I'm Nicole Kruszewski. I'm Keegan O'Donnell. And I'm Austin Zoicki. And today we will be playing Fandango by Kevin Kaisershot. An interesting aspect about this piece is it is originally a trumpet trio, and we are playing it on bassoon, tuba, and trombone, which is a rather abnormal arrangement. <laughs> So then, here's the, here are the challenges. First of all, I'm playing any, other, any ensemble. I'm going to talk about it a little bit in regards to music. But then the second challenge is, how do you really get it to balance? So I know that you had discussions or played for somebody enough to figure out that we all got to be careful about what part needs to be heard and how loud I'm going to play accompaniment parts and stuff like that because it causes it to make sure I'm sure. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But in the end, what you want to try and do is take three really disparate instruments and try to make one sound out of them, and you're doing that. And it's difficult to do, but you can't sacrifice some of the other things. Okay? So, first of all, this piece, you tend to be thinking about this. And I wouldn't do that. I would do this. That's called a gogic accent. Most people call it group. And I can do this all day long, and it never moves. It's just part of my DNA and experience. But for you, you need to feel not every beat is equal. 
And this thing does not go this direction. It goes this direction. So we're going to just try this, and it's somewhat artificial at this point, but it really is where it needs to be. Because of the example of how you're playing it, Spirito means to me, with Spirito goes, Spirito means to me accent beat one. Accent beat one. Beep, ba ba bum, beep, ba ba bum. And let's play a true fourth here at the beginning. Here we go. One, two, one lolly, two. Because when you do this, well, it's going to be the tendency. It's going to be the rush. Okay? So as long as you push it forward, the two little players are going to be doing it. But if you put a little accent on one or two, it's going to lock it in better. And it's going to increase your confidence in what it sounds like this is what it sounds like. One more time. sense of pulse. And when that happens, you know, conductors, I play for three different conductors right now, community bands and stuff, and they're all different people. But I also play with a lot of great musicians, and when we make little funny comments about directors in the background, we're always listening to each other. And where do we listen to? We listen back. That's what we listen to you. So your, your definition of pulse will help them, and it will help their decider style, you know, and that's where you go with it, okay? Thank you very much.